So hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my very small YouTube channel about knitting. My name is Isabelle. I am in France. I have three sons and I have three cats. Some say it's related. And I'm filming these videos in English because I dearly miss my English. I used to live in the United States, but that was over 30 years ago. And I don't have any more or any opportunity to be talking in English any longer. And I miss it very much. So um, if you can bear with my accent and my uh, mistakes, and if an episode about my monthly checking uh, for my yarn no buy year uh, project, so it's not it's not the kind of video you can find everywhere else. Uh, but it's my monthly checking. Um, so if that sounds good to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so um, I will link. I um, which side is it? Yeah, I think it's this side. This side. Uh, I will link. Um, my first uh, video for the year. This is a, a year-long project. I'm most, most certainly gonna uh, continue it next year. And I have some, a set of rules for myself, um, of regulations. And uh, I have to say, we are in October. I, I have been following my rules. So I guess they, are, uh, they were suitable for me. Um, there are things I have discovered and uh, things I wasn't expecting to discover. Um, but I will talk about that a bit uh, in a bit more details, most probably in my December check-in or maybe January. I don't know how, uh, how I will have the time to uh, collect all my thoughts and uh, um, do that. Uh, either December or January next year, but most certainly I'm going to continue for uh, the next year. So in my regulations, um, I had allowed myself to buy patterns either to support designers or pa patterns I wanted to get, or there was some kind of an offer and uh, uh, I had patterns in my favorites that were waiting for me to get by them because I wanted to make them at some point. So um, this, this checking is mostly going to be about patterns and a book or magazine. Uh, so uh, before we get into that, what am I wearing? I think, I'm sorry, I think I'm coming back from work. It's a bit late. The day um, are getting shorter. We switched uh, hours uh, last weekend in France. So uh, uh, we have less and less light uh, during the evening. So it's getting a bit darker right now. Um, I'm not sure about the lightning, light, light if it's going to be okay or not. And uh, as I'm coming back from work, I had my sleep extravaganza with one of my uh, trendy little scarves. This is the way I like to wear my scarves. One that is light and close to my neck and the other one that uh, is around me and uh, it was over my jacket. I just have just a shirt under my jacket and uh, um, the shawl was uh, warm enough to, uh, uh, for today. T today it's... Um, we have we are in between two big storms one that was uh, two days ago yesterday was beautiful and calm and no sun but you know no wind and now the wind is picking up again and we have a second big storm that is coming in uh tonight for and tomorrow and i think it's the beginning the real beginning of the fall season in france at least in in my normandy because in the south south East of France, they still, you know, have summer type of temperatures. So the lights are getting, it, it's getting, you know, really darker right now. So uh, I have to do something for, for the lights. So anyway, uh, patterns, so a series, two, two series, two, two patterns, two series of patterns, four patterns and two from two different designers and the magazine. So, uh, Let's get first, maybe we can go in order. I'm not sure which ones I got first. 
you know, in order of appearance. Yes. Uh, so we're going to be moving to the uh, Stephen West patterns I got at the beginning of the month. Not even at the beginning of the month. I just checked. Uh, I made all, all of my expenses between the 20th and the 25th of October, within five days. Uh, up to the 20th of October, I had not spent anything. And I was thinking, this is going to be a blank month, no, no expenses. Uh, but on the 20th, uh, Stephen West uh, had an offer for his birthday. If I recall correctly, he was 34 and offering 34% off of his patterns. So I just looked in my favorites, which were the ones I liked and w that were in my favorites and that I had not bought yet. So I bought three of them. I had three in my favorites because, you know, I have books from him. So that, that's a lot of patterns. Okay, my baby cat is here. I'm not sure what he wants to be doing. Um, anyway, so I, I had three in my favorites. So I looked at them and I said, okay, do I still want them? So yeah, I still wanted them. And I added one more, uh, one additional one. Um, because I had my eyes on this one. It was not in my fav favorites, but I, um, you know, I got it anyway. So the first one I had in my favorites, and I have to say, I, I had not seen that pattern by, on my own. Don't show you, but okay. Uh, this is the typical <laughs> picture of a cat. Um, uh, but I saw, I think it was, Kevin from um, Needles at the Ready, who uh, knits uh, the battered uh, poncho kind of, you know, it's it's um, a closed uh, a closed shawl, so yeah, maybe a poncho. Uh, battered, I I thought it was a very interesting construction, a very interesting effect, um, a pattern I did not have anything close to it in my own pattern library and that was you know sort of filling a gap that um i i did not have in my uh, library i like the very graphic look of it and um, i was thinking maybe i was going to uh, use the yarn my son theo bought me for uh, my uh, uh, birthday when he was in, uh, in the UK for a, a research conference for his PhD. But I found another pattern uh, that I bought, uh, but it was on the 1st of November. So uh, I won't be talking about it right now, but you will see it before I get to my monthly checking because uh, I'm gonna cast it on on my birthday. So um, you will see it before then, that. Uh, but anyway, I was thinking about uh, using these yarns, uh, these skins that he bought me, um, uh, and I like the very graphic uh, side of it. So uh, um, yeah, uh, so the batter, it's quite original, you don't, see many skins like you know many patterns like that he's disturbing me i'm not sure what he wants to do uh right now and uh yeah it's an interesting pattern uh I'm, he's in my papers so anyway pattern that was the first one the second one i had my eyes on this one for a long time uh, i had been having my eyes you know i i i've been wanting to need this shawl for a long time. It's the dust line shawl, also from uh, Stephen West. I like the sweater, but I have patterns that are close to the dust line sweater, so I don't need to get um, the pattern for the sweater unless I want to need that one specifically. That would be okay. But for now, I have other patterns that fill that gap, but not for the shawl. And maybe it's also the kind of yellow. There is one uh, um, sample in yellow color, another one in the gray color. I have yarn for that. And uh, uh, I like the uh, stitch pattern uh, on shawl. No color work, a plain color, um, you know, monoblock 
uh, colored shawl, but with uh, different stitch patterns on it. I like I liked the Dustland shawl the day it came out. It was in my favorite, so I got it on that occasion. The third one I had in my uh, uh, favorites, and I had been having this one for a long time, is armor. Um, it's what what does he call it's a bolero okay so he says it's a bolero it's a shrug or a bolero uh, so you're gonna say yeah it's called close to ballad yeah yeah it's the same kind of stripes graphic stripes uh, but I like the shape of this bolero very much and uh, uh, since I've seen it uh, it, it was in my favorites uh, for long it's been in my favorites for a very long time and uh, yeah, I like this shrug or bolero very much. And uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure which kind of, if I do have yarn for that right now, or if I will at some point get some yarn to, you know, knit that piece. But uh, anyway, I uh, like that shape very much. It's very original. Uh, I guess it's not very practical to wear under a coat or a jacket or something, or even over. It's too. I, I think it should be worn by itself, a bit, a bit like um, a big shawl like that, um, over over a shirt or a sweater, but no no jacket, no coat, no thing like that uh, uh, underneath. So it's gonna be a mid you know, mid-season type of uh, garment. And I think we are going in Normandy to be in warmer climate, but Normandy is not very warm. So I guess we are going to have longer uh, end of summer and earlier spring. And I think that's the perfect piece for that. So these are the three ones that I had in my favorites. And the fourth one I got, uh, looking around is Solfar. Solfar is a poncho. I already have two ponchos in uh, my um, wardrobe. I do wear them a lot. Um, one I wear mostly at home because it's a bit old, it looks a bit like a rug, but it's in mohair, it, it, it's all deformed anyway. It's old, it's over 15 years old. It's been worn a lot, uh, but it's very, very, very warm. It's black, I don't wear black much longer, and not any longer, and don't wear much black now. And this one is gray with uh, a border, a red border. I like that very, very much. And uh, uh, yeah, so I already have another one that I'm wearing from time to time. Um, but I think I will wear this one much more. So, uh, yeah, and I guess I can have two in rotation. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, so far. And these are the four patterns I got from Stephen West. I had, I guess I, I placed a community post uh, on my YouTube channel about uh, the sale. So I hope you did um, uh, manage to use the code and, and get you know, 30% off of uh, uh, some of the patterns Stephen West has. And uh, he was offering the uh, offer, he was offering the discount on the, all of his patterns, all of his classes, all of his ebooks on ev about everything on his site and Ravelry. So uh, yeah, it was a very, very generous offer. And I thank him for that very much. And once again, if it's, even if it's a bit late now, uh, uh, I wish him a very happy birthday. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue on just individual patterns. Um, uh, on the 25th of October, I bought two patterns from Camilla Vad. I think there was an offer. I did not write it down. I don't recall. I, I think there was something maybe your birthday or the release of another pattern. I, I will try to write it down if I retrieve the information, uh, but I'm kind of sure I had a discount. Um, maybe not, but I think, um, I think so. 
uh, you may recall I have this mohair that I got uh, in the Poitou this summer, close by where my mother lives, uh, in a new farm, a goat farm, uh, very similar to the one that is in the Pyrenees, but the lady from this uh, Poitou farm, um, in Poitou, that's the area, uh, processes the yarn a bit differently. It's, it's all environmentally friendly and everything, but the quality of the yarn is a bit different. So I got enough to make a colorwork sweater in mohair. That's not usual, I know, uh, but I had the idea since I had been aware of the bogus type of uh, knitting and uh, patterns and motifs and that I think um, are, you know, you know very uh, beautiful and a bit, a bit incredible, but the yarn, it's not mohair from goats, of course, but I don't, I don't use bunny, bunny, I'm sorry, I, I can't. Um, in the 70s, in the 80s, when I was knitting a lot, there were these huge uh, problems with bunny farms and the way they were shredded and everything. So I know that now there are people who produce um, yarn uh, that are very respectful of the animals and everything, but I, unless I go there, <laughs> I can be certain. So uh, I avoid, um, uh, the, the name ex escapes me, but it will come back, um, the bunny yarn. Uh, but um, boys knitting is made with um, that kind of uh, yarn, fur from the bunnies, um, and it's a very fine gauge. The mohair I have from the goats is a, at a big gauge, but at first, that was the first time I was thinking I should try to, uh, uh, knit a color work sweater with mohair. Good. So um, I've been looking for patterns since then and I have two. I'm not sure which one I like best. So I, I got the two of them um, because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knit both of them at some point. Anyway, I'm not sure. So it's from Camille Avad. And I'm sure you've seen them. It's the Esther uh, sweater and the Agnes uh, sweater uh, jumper. So they both have the same vibes, very similar uh, color work yoke. So uh, it's a top down type of sweater, round yoke, you know. Um, I'm not, I do not know which one I like the best. Uh, I have to see in details, I have to swatch and arrange my, uh, uh, my yarn and see which colors are best. They are a bit different, both of them are a bit different, not, kind of, not quite the same kind of motif. Um, I think the uh, Agnes uh, jumper is going to be better because um, in the Esther uh, pattern there are some dots in between some kind of uh, lozenge, you know, uh, shaped motif. And I'm afraid that with the hair, of the fuzziness of the mohair, the uh, dots are going to be lost. Um, but anyway, I have other yarn for the Agnes, the Esther, excuse me, the Esther sweater. It's a short, the sample is knit with uh, short sleeves, but you know, you can, <laughs> you can knit with long sleeves if you want to. Um, but, uh, uh, and I, I do have yarn for, for that also in my stash. So uh, I, will, I will most probably use the Agnes pattern for uh, knitting my um, color work sweater in mohair and use the uh, Esther pattern for, um, for another, another, some other yarn from my stash. Okay, so uh, this one is going to be the, there's a bit of a story for uh, that one. On the 21st of October, uh, I had been having my eyes on the Amirisu Cosmology Derma Collection 2022. I had my eyes on that one. There were several, there are several patterns that I'm very, very much interested in. Uh, and I was looking for um, whenever 
the uh, magazine was going to be available in France. I was, you know, looking around every sites, websites um, that carry uh, Amirisu. I saw it for one day uh, in England. I'm not sure I recall which one. Anyway, it's not important. Uh, but I was busy at the moment, so I could not get it. And I was thinking, well, yeah, you know, UK, it's not, it's not Europe any longer. I will have to pay taxes and everything. So, you know, I, I pondered for one day and the next day they were out of stock. And I was thinking, oh no, <laughs> I wanted it. Uh, I can't find it anywhere. Um, the one place uh, I could find it, it was out of, out of stock within one day. What am I going to be doing? Because I want that one and I want the paper book. I, I guess I can get the ebook at some point, but I want the paper, uh, I want the magazine, the paper magazine. So I went to the Amirisu website and I said, okay, let's pay for shipping. So the shipping was as expensive as the magazine itself because uh, I paid uh, 46 euros and 90 cents for the whole thing uh, when the magazine is about 25, 26 euros or something. Anyway, I said, what the hell, I want it and uh, I really want to uh, get it and I don't want to have it to miss it, um, so uh, so I ordered it from Japan. Okay, I ordered it from Japan, and so I paid the price for the uh, magazine. I it doubled the price to uh, get shipping. Okay, okay, shipping is far away. Okay, and whenever it arrived in Belgium, I think whenever it hit Europe. Uh, I had to pay for uh, taxes, uh, border taxes, and uh, uh, otherwise they were keeping it or selling it back, and it was once again the same price of the magazine. So, uh, you know, I spent three times as much for uh, this magazine. But anyway, I I haven't unboxed it. I just looked at it and I said, okay, I'm gonna uh, unbox it on you know in the video. It comes into that cardboard box, yellow cardboard box with a very nice print. And when you open the cardboard box, if I can do that now, there is protection and the magazine comes very beautifully wrapped. You know, the Japanese attention to details. So I haven't opened it yet. I I know which patterns are inside, so uh, I'm gonna open it just right now. Sorry, there is a bit of a crinkly noise. So here is the book. A very, very beautiful motif. Uh, I'm not that fond of ruffles here, so I don't think I will make that one, but it's, you know, a hardcover. Is there a download code? Because I like when there is a download code so that somehow I can get um, the PDF and print in large size. Okay, so it doesn't say, but I will have to uh, look around. And uh, the one designs that I have been uh, that caught my attention was this sweater. Maybe I'll place, um, I place the uh, pictures, I think I place the pictures on that side. Uh, maybe I place the pictures uh, here, but this jumper with a hood, it's kind of a sporty line. I liked it. This one, is the one that caught my attention first. Is uh, I will write the name of the patterns because uh, they are somewhere. Um, you have three strands of mohair on that part of the body. Two strands here and one strand here. It is just you know three strands here, two strands around here, and one here. Very original, original 
design. Maybe you're gonna tell me there are other already uh, the skin. It's the name of this uh, sweater. Here you have it too. Um, maybe it's already been done. Maybe, maybe not. So this is the one with the ruffle, and I'm not much interested into the one with the ruffle. The hat. I have the beret hat. I have pattern, a pattern from Madeleine Tosh that I bought last year. Uh, it was the Madeleine Tosh operation. I, I want to knit it, but uh, still um, I have this one also and I have yarn for that. And the one that I saw first was this kind of cone um, with two long tails that you can wrap yourself into. Uh, when it's very cold and uh, some kind of tassels or pom pom at, at the tip. A very, very unusual pattern, something I had never seen anywhere. And I like this idea very much. Um, so yeah, that got me into it. Um, a, a cardigan, not sure I want a cardigan, socks, not sure I want socks. Uh, but I think that's the call that uh, got me mostly into it, the call and the jumper with, uh, with the hood. Anyway, I am very, very, very happy with that hardcover. I have another Amirisu uh, book. I'm looking if there is a download code. Usually there is one, but uh, I don't know. Um, I have another one, which is not a hardcover. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, I don't see if there is a download code somewhere. Anyway, it's not important because I have these patterns and I have this beautiful book that is uh, gonna go in my library once again and I'm gonna be daydreaming about it. And uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of... Uh, a uh, lot of uh, food for thoughts and future projects. Okay, so if we summarize for this month, and I realize I haven't updated um, the tax, uh, the payment of the taxes that I made for the Mirisu book. Uh, so the four patterns from uh, Stephen West were uh, 19 euros and one cent. The uh, Amirisu book, 46 uh, euros and 90 cents before uh, border taxes. And uh, I will have to add that. It was about around 20 euros, I think. So I will have to um, make these uh, numbers straight. And uh, uh, the cam two patterns from Camila Vad were seven uh, euros and 20 cents. So I guess, yeah, there was an operation for that. So that without the uh, taxes, um, that was around, that was 73 uh, euros and 11 cents. So I guess 93 euros and 11 cents around that for the month of October. Uh, so that's for uh, the 10 months, uh, you know, from January to October, 1,195 euros and 92 cents. That come up to um, 119 euros and 59 cents with a correction for uh, the border taxes for the Amerisu book. When you think of it, 1,000 over, or almost 1,000 dollars, 200 euros, it's a lot of money. Uh, but we are in October and it's more than three times less what I spent last year. So I guess, I guess I can say for now, and I'm sure uh, it will continue to the end of the year, mission accomplished and uh, far less stress, much more happiness. And uh, yeah, um, uh, I hope I hope you will uh, uh, that your project and your knitting is bringing you joy and happiness because um, uh, it's not going to come all by itself. We do have to work on it and bring joy and happiness into our lives. It's, 
especially in these, you know, very dark times, we still have a war at our doorsteps. There have been, you know, dreadful events uh, about everywhere in Europe. Um, people died and everything uh, in some, you know, events, uh, mass events, um, mass movement events. And uh, uh, winter is coming, or at least fall is coming. And what I do not like about winter or fall is having less and less light. So I have been using my daylight lamp uh, every morning uh, so that uh, I have enough of the uh, light uh, in my eyes that are keeping my chemicals up. So it's one way uh, to keep or bring happiness into my life. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope your knitting is bringing you joy. I hope your uh, expenses are bringing you joy that you do not you know, kind of feel behind the way I was feeling behind at the end of last year and driven by forces that I did not control and I did not understand. Um, yeah, so everything is more conscious and uh, uh, that, yeah, you can, you can, your knitting is bringing you joy. So um, I thank you very much uh, for spending these this half hour about uh, half hour with me and uh, yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time